Hi guys. I want to talk today about reason columns. So let's type that in and run that. So the reason columns <clears throat> are 0 through 28 and then we have a check. And these 28, there's actually one missing, which is 20. So we, we have 28 columns, which are dummy variables. And there's an issue with dummy variables that you need to be aware of. The issue is called the dummy variable trap. There's another term for this, multicollinearity. And multicollinearity refers to when independent variables in a regression model are highly correlated. In other words, they are not independent of each other. This correlation is a problem because independent variables should be independent. If the degree of correlation between the variables is high enough, it can cause problems when you fit the model and you attempt to interpret the results. So there's a way we try to avoid multicollinearity, and that's by dropping one of the dummy variables. In this case, we're looking at the headings and we have we have the absence reason zero, and that means no known reason for absence. And this is what we've chosen to drop. So we will type in the code. Reason columns equals PD, which means pandas, get dummies. And we're referring to the data frame, reason for absence column, drop first equals true. So let's run this. And then I always will check to make sure that there are no issues. So we have dropped the first column. Excellent. So now we're going to think about what other issues might we have. So, so right now uh, we're going to type in data frame columns values so these are our headings we have ID reason for absence date transportation expense distance to work age okay ID is not a numerical value where the number means anything it is not going to be correlated to the rate of absenteeism. So we don't need ID. We want to drop anything that is not going to help us in our analysis. So the code to perform a drop, so data frame equals data frame drop. And then we have the column ID. And when we look we're looking also at reason for absence. Reason for absence, we already have the dummy variables. So we don't need the reason for absence column. So we're deleting from the axis equals one, which is row wise, and we will run this. And now we will check the data frame. And it's successful. We do not have an ID column now and we do not have a reason for absence column. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to look at our dummy variables and we want to determine which one of those should be grouped together. So um, let's look at the reason columns. So we know that columns 1 through 14 are related. Columns 15 through 17, 18 through 21, and 22. So those are the columns that are very similar. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create groups. And the code for creating groups 
So we have the reason type. So reason type 1, which is a group, equals reason columns. And then we're using the loc function, LOC. And this colon represents the rows. So we have blank, colon, blank, which means all rows. Then we have comma. And then now we're looking at the columns. So 1 colon 14 means 1 through 14 columns. We're looking for the maximum value row-wise. And it says axis equals 1. So the maximum value row-wise. So in other words, um, maximum value would be the 1. So the next reason type 2. So we're looking at 15 through 17. And same thing, we're looking to see if one of those is populated with a maximum value. And so that is group 2. Group 3. So this is 18 through 21. Same thing, we're looking for one populated value in that group. That's all we need. And then the next is group four. Now group four, you need to be careful because there's only one value. So that's 22. And you must have this colon for it to be able to run properly. That is a requirement. So it would be 22 colon, and then max, axis equals 1. So we're going to run that. And then we're going to check and make sure that everything is correct. So we will just copy this down. So reason type 1. So these are the values going from 0 to 700. Reason type 2, reason type 3, and reason type 4. Okay, very good. So all of the reason types have been populated. And now we're going to move on. Um, but at this point, I'm going to end this video. And I really appreciate you guys listening to this. This is really, really powerful stuff. And I will see you later. Thank you.